And today, inspired by the Axis of Awesome, I'm going to be showing you how to play the four chords on ukulele. So when people mention the four chords, what they're actually talking about is in a given key, the key that you're playing in, the first chord, the fifth chord, the sixth chord, and then the fourth chord, or one, five, six, four. That's the pattern. That's the four chords. So if you know what key you're playing in, you work out the four chords by working out what one, five, six, and four would be within that key. So the Axis of Awesome song is in D. So the first chord of D major is D, one. Now for this, we're gonna be playing D by barring the second fret with our first finger and getting our fourth finger and putting it on the fifth fret on the A string. That's D. And then the next chord is five. So D, E, F, G, A. The fifth chord of D is A major. An A major is first finger on the first fret on the C string and second finger on the second fret on the G string. So that's our five, A. One is D, five is A. And the next one is six. Now six is gonna be a minor one and it's B because D, E, F, G, A, B. So B minor is barring our second fret with the first finger and getting your third finger and putting it on the fourth fret on the G string. So that's six. The last one is four, D, E, F, G. And people tend to play G by putting their first finger on the second fret on the C string, second finger on the second fret on the A string, and third finger on the third fret on the E string. But we were just on B minor, which is here. And if you put your second finger on the third fret on the E string, that makes G. So instead of going back here, when you're in B minor, just put down that second finger on the third fret for your G. Right? So we've got D, A, B minor, and then G. Those are the four chords in D. So those are the chords to play when you're following along with the Axis of Awesome song. And if you want to play with a different song, you just need to know the key and work out what one, five, six, four would be. Try and stick to major keys, and if you do that, all you need to know is that all of them will be a major chord, except for the six will be a minor, just like we had D major, A major, B minor, and G major. And that's it. Okay, hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and have fun playing ukulele.